I'm yeah, gonna punch yeah, you. Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say a bunch of jokers in the house, but <laughs> my colleagues are here. <clears throat> Thank you for joining in. My name is Onimisi Adaba. This is the men's room, and um, it's the post Father's Day special that we're doing today. And uh, I had to get a couple of my colleagues, you know, just to come in and you know, just chit chat about, you know, fathers and all of that, you know. Last week, last week Sunday was Father's Day, a day that a whole lot of people they say forget, and which is gradually becoming a significant day in the lives of people right now. You know, I think mothers mothers have about two, three. They have about, they have they have about so seven. Indian Mother's Day, <laughs> Pakistani Mother's Day, and still the only one Father's Day we have. They want single to. mothers still want to cramp our schools. Not to educate this guy's in as a man. What have we done? Okay, so that's not the angle we're going. <laughs> that's not where we're going. Um, so I have uh, my friends and my colleagues, Adenike Oyechunde. What's up? How are you doing? What's up? Then there is Fola Folaya in the house. Hello. Benga Aborua is here. Thank you very much. Yeah. And Broadcaster of International Repeat. You have to put it there. <laughs> Please complete it again. What? Broadcaster of International Repeat. Yes, that's it. Don't ever get it twisted. <laughs> 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 then I have Jessica in the house. Yay. Jessica. Oh. Um, Jessica Daba. Um, Our how mini are you? producer. Fine. Good. Great. She wants Great. to show herself in the video. She's not <laughs> holding the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, basically I just got them in just to chat and share with us their own angle of um, Father's Day, what it means to them and uh, a whole lot of things I'll be reading out here and we'll share, or, uh, yeah, we will all share um, what this day means and the, pe the person we celebrate, um, how outstanding or otherwise the person has been in our lives. Wow. Yeah. So that's it. You can also call and share your own story. If you have a story you want to share, feel free to call. If you don't, just sit back, relax and enjoy, you know, um, different angles from these different people. Um, are you okay? I didn't care. <laughs> you sure? You're on camera. Well, outside please. of her it's okay. bright it's price okay. is about it's to. Okay, <laughs> that's a 50 percent discount. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sales. I'm telling you, what a crazy guy. 50% <laughs> off. Oh. It's all a great <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, OJ, we didn't mean to ruin my yeah, name. It's okay. So, the greatest gift I ever had came from God. And I call him Dad. Oh. What does that mean? What does that mean to you guys? Anybody? Oh, wow. Hmm. Okay, can I start by saying this time next year, anywhere in the world I am, I will not be a part of men's room. I can't be having me every time they are talking about fathers. There are other people that have ex amazing experiences with their dads. Well, that's yeah. let, them, let them come mm. and we'll take them. Okay, mm. so um, it's interesting that you started that angle because I am an unapologetic Jesus baby and having to relate with God the Father has become something very easy for me and with me because of my relationship with my earthly father. So relating to the person of God um, is very, very realistic to me. So I've always had a relationship with my dad. My father has always been present. My father has always been there. My father has always been, has always picked me up from school, has always dropped me off. My father really? has always come, yeah, to pick me a visit at the boarding house. My father has paid my fees. My father has put clothes on my back. My father has bought me shoes. You know, so I understand what it is to have someone who plays the role of provider, of protector, someone who plays the role of friend, someone who plays the role of friend so much so that sometimes as a kid, I'm wondering, this is part where you become a parent. You should scold me now. You should scold me now. But very close. Very, very close. We were so close that I remember once um, I had this uh, emotional quagmire and I was, <laughs> it was a mess. I was a hot mess. And I couldn't think of anybody to call for my father. Okay, you were away from home then? Yes, I was. And I just picked up the phone and I was crying and I was speaking to my father and my heart like this broken and all of that. And I remember my father telling me, you know what to do. He, he didn't do the pity party with me. Yeah. He literally told me all of this. So related with my father on that pedestal has become something of ease with me. To re it must know? have matured you, you know. Maybe because I'm an only child. So maybe he didn't have 
other people to throw his attention on. But I think that, you know, everybody who's known me all my life has always been my father. So you, you, you see people who haven't seen me in years. And after that, the first two minutes, the next question, everybody goes, oh my God, how's your dad? Everybody <laughs> does that. Mm. Because he really is an integral part of my life. So it's relating my father and relating with God mm. wasn't something so difficult for me. It grew with time because there are times where I just said, you know what, dude, I'm telling you too many things. I'm not telling you. There was one, one time I told him stuff. I said, look, I'm confiding in you as a friend because if you pull up the parents, you know, plan from me, I'm not going to tell you anything. I remember it was, it was reverse psychic. So at what point does it... Oh, it was okay. reverse psychic. Yeah. Don't do what I should have. <laughs> so I knew that. He said, no, 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 no. Ah, please. Please. Always tell me stuff, you know. Yeah. Just on all of that. But I know that... Ah, it, I... I didn't have a need to have to differentiate between my father as a parent and my father as a friend. Yeah, because sometimes, you know, there's this mm. saying that... Um, never had a need to differentiate. Mm. Never, never. Follow what's your story? <laughs> um, mine is the, like, polar opposite of Adenike's story mm. because um, I couldn't... I don't relate most times when people talk about fathers. I don't relate, like, you know... He wasn't there. Was it physically I not there? I never met the guy. <laughs> he doesn't know the story. <laughs> <laughs> we never met. I don't know. Wow. But, um, the the first time I saw what he looked like, mm -hmm. I was I think I was already thirty years old, mm -hmm. and it was on the pages of a newspaper. Wow. I, re I remember. You a few remember? Years ago. Yeah, newspaper. Yeah, just a few years ago. It was on the pages of a oh, newspaper. Yeah. Somebody yeah. had called. You know, somebody had called me. You know, called my mom to tell me that ah, you know, there's your dad because everybody kind of you know like um, go to. I think it was Vanguard or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know that there's a twenty-five year remembrance that his company that he had started was mm -hmm. celebrating, mm -hmm. and so they put it post an obituary mm -hmm. remembrance mm -hmm. so I had to go and get the newspaper of that day I actually wow. came here to get to the newsroom to look for wow. the edition wow. of that newspaper and then you know for the first time I saw a picture wow of, of him of him did he look like you did he, did he look like him? first time ever what was first time ever were there, well, How emotions you are going through you I feel I, I, I see till ri right now as you're talking as I'm talking I can't exactly describe how I felt you know, looking at that picture, mm. because all my life there was I had different stages. I had the stage where I desperately wished I had a dad. Mm -hmm. I had the stage where I was angry and I hated everybody that had a dad. Mm. Mm. I had the stage where I would look at men who are dads and I would just hate them. Mm. I just didn't like them, like oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had a stage where I was kind of resigned, like. Mm. Whatever, mm. that is. And then I had a stage, I think I think when I was a teenager, where I really wanted to know, okay, so what is it like? What do you, uh, you know, I wanted to know, okay, what's his favorite food? Um, is he a nice person? You know, what did he like? You know, what are his hobbies? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I just wanted to know. Yeah. It was yeah. a weird mm -hmm. thing. So when I saw the picture, it was so many emotions. It was At the same time, wow. At the same time, all I did was just remove the page. I still have it in the house. I... I just removed that page and folded it and kept it. That was the obituary page. Obituary yeah, it was 25, 25 years remember. Did you know when he passed? I, uh, how would I know? Wow. So Apparently he passed, I was about, maybe like I was four or five mm. when he passed. Mm. But we never met. I heard that at some point we had met, like mm. when I was a baby, I think mm. um, when I was a toddler. Um, they had taken me to him and... I didn't remember, mm. but of course the the visits didn't go well. Mm. So what yeah. had happened was um, he met my mom. He was already married. He had a family, you know. So he met my mom, and you know they had this side chick thing going mm -hmm. on, and they dated, mm -hmm. and she was pregnant. And he was like, "Okay, I can't do this. I have a family, so you have to go take care of it." And because she was very young at that time, and mm. it was in the age where people don't just go to a clinic mm. and get an abortion, <laughs> you know. So she was like, no, she was too scared to get an abortion. So she said she couldn't. And so she had the baby. And then because he wanted to protect his family, he was quite, in, uh, he was a little bit affluent, so I heard. Mm. He wanted to protect what he had, you know, so he just flat out denied. Wow. Like, All right. I am not responsible. I mean, your story. What stage are you in now? Yeah. 
<laughs> what stage am I in? Well, before you answer that, your story is... <laughs> She's the very is... interesting stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I, I know. <laughs> She's all smart. <laughs> I mean, your story is a men's room... It's special. fresh men's room. <laughs> really? So, yes, so that too. So let's save it up for that. Benga, we'll hear from you and then we'll go on a quick break. And when we come back, we'll take on as much as we can. So, right. Benga, what's your uncle? <clears throat> you know, um, I mean, um, if I came back to this world a thousand times, I would choose my dad. Oh, really? I know, I, I, I know Benga's dad. dad. <laughs> I know Benga's dad. And He's I have the his most, biggest crush on him. He's the most amazing Let's dad. Ever. I know Benga's dad. Uh, He's my friend. Let's more reasons you. than She's one. I mean, he's. Uh, <laughs> He's a friend. We talk about everything. Oh. Not not everything. Mm. Not girlfriend issues. He will, still, he will still give advice <laughs> on that and marriage and all. And you'll, uh, be but, like, but you'll be like, I didn't just no, know. Well, that. No, it won't. We're not that when it comes to that. No detail. We're men. Yeah. So, yeah, so politics, like men men. politics and all. Really? And I, I always um, appreciate him for the quality of education he mm. gave yes. us, all of us. Because, mm. I mean, he could have collected the chief dance title, he could mm. have bought wow. a Benz mm. or two. <laughs> yeah, but he decided, you know you were men, they like <laughs> they like chief dance title and gold. <laughs> it had been wearing five chains, but uh, he decided to send us to the best schools in the world, so I appreciate him for that. I would always remember a story, SS2, mm. Atlantic Hall, mm. one of the most expensive schools in Nigeria. Mm. I came back home, I repeated SS2, not because I was dumb, but because I was just playing and entertaining my classmates. I was, <laughs> I was a class clown and I neglected my I studies because it was entertaining. So I came home with my results. I mean, this was in the height of a bacha period. Things were hard. I mean, we talk about recession now. This is not a recession. <laughs> that was the recession. I remember they put my name as part of people that had oh. not completed their school fees yeah. on the gate. I'm calling out Atlantic Hall now, don't do it. It's a lot of psychological damage <laughs> yeah. to kids. And you know, yeah. kids, anything goes. So my classmates started calling me Bill Gates. <laughs> 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 and we, should go pay up, we should pay up our school fees and things like that. <laughs> that being said, so you know how hard it was then. Yeah. And I never saw him sweat. I never saw him mm. fret mm. or just panic. He was, he was a point. dad. He was always on point. So I came home and I showed him my results that I've repeated SS2 in this, e in this economy. <laughs> I mean, some kids will run away. Yes. They will just say, you yeah. know what, yeah. I'll just, just, just go and register myself in a baby grandma. <laughs> I use my hand to register by myself. You know, he just told me that, you know, it's okay. I'm sure you've learned your lesson. Speak yourself up do better Aww. next time and that was it Aww. he never Amazing. said anything Amazing. he would never condemn he would never he'd always mm. make excuses Aww. for you and mm. it's just a wonderful Aww. question similar to my dad at yeah. some point in my life you know, just kept on flaunting exams and all of that and um, one time <laughs> you know uh, my mother was all upset and all of that and he calls me and says okay you know what I think you're probably a slow developer it mm. takes time for you to build and mm. once you build up you pick, you pick you'd be, you'd, I think that was all I needed because oh, wow. when he said that my next result was oh, wow. five wow. you know mm. Isn't that amazing? Oh, wow. Jessica you want to say something no no yeah, no don't put out on this one this one this one to go back on my all right commercials and then we'll be back stay with us Please click on the red subscribe button below this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.